Build It 3.2 can be used with Crayoform's Handy Probe. It's an arm-free probing system used with the C-Track dual camera sensor. This duo generates high accuracy measurements with an accuracy of up to 22 microns. Here is a video showing you how to connect and calibrate Crayoform's arm-free probing system, the Handy Probe. Click Device, Manage Devices. The device type is Crayoform, and the hardware type is C-Track Handy Probe. Click Add. In the broker, click Connect. Once connected, several status windows will appear. They will inform you whether the C-Track or the Handy Probe are working correctly or if there's anything wrong. Click on the Utilities tab. We'll start by adding a new probe. Select Stylus Database and click Open. We'll name it New Probe and its diameter is 6 millimeters. Under the Probe tab, you'll find that our new probe was added. Now, select Calibrate System and click Open to calibrate the C-Track. The C-Track calibration is done using a calibration bar. The computer screen shows the location of the bar with respect to the C-Track by giving the top view on the right and the user point of view on the left. Place the bar such that both ends fit into the squares and the reflectors on the bar face the C-Track. Next, we want to calibrate the Handy Probe. Select Calibrate Stylus and then click Open. Place the probe into the calibration cone and tilt the Handy Probe such that its orientation matches the one shown on the screen. A very interesting feature of the Handy Probe is the tracking mode. It allows users to measure a part that is moving with the use of a reference system made of retroreflective targets. In order to create this system, right-click on the VX Pro status window and select Detect Targets. Place your probe near a target and notice the probe and targets appear on screen. Select the targets and click Accept. We are now in tracking mode. You'll need to validate your reference system as you do with any other device as the tolerance for unstable targets is 0.5 millimeters or 0.02 inches. Next, we can adjust the probing tolerance. Right-click on the VX Probe status window and select Configuration. Tighter will give more precise measurements, and looser will allow measurement when the probe is less stable, such as when the part is moving. We can go through our workflow and measure surfaces, align the device, and inspect the part, whether it is vibrating, unclamped, or held in the air.